Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing tutorials and inspiration here on Whitney Sews and a lot of what I've been doing lately is making fabric masks to donate. I did a sew and chat video two weeks ago where I kind of sat down and just talked about a lot of different things and along the way through the video I showed step by step how I was making fabric masks in this pleated style. Um, a lot of you really enjoyed that video and I've also done two live streams since then where I was um, chatting live while working on these because I've been making a ton of them to donate to a local clinic and um, yeah I know a lot of us sewers are busy right now making masks and so today I just wanted to share a tip that I started doing this past weekend on uh, masks that I'm making for my friends and family and that is adding a bit of shaping to the nose area so that it can form around the nose for a better fit. I'm not doing them on all the masks I make because the ones that I'm donating I'm going for quantity and speed over um, you know little details like this because right now they have nothing to give out to people and so anything is better than nothing um, but for ones that I have a chance to slow down and put a little more effort into I am putting the fitted nose just so that um, it fits better and it's not like um, fogging up glasses for people who are wearing them with glasses or anything like that so I just wanted to share my tips with you all today and I hope you find it helpful this is something that you can add to a mask that you've already made after it's completely done you can do it by machine or if you don't have a sewing machine and maybe someone gave you a mask you can definitely do this with just hand sewing so it is very easy to do and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so first up you're going to need some sort of ribbon or twill tape I'm using 5 8 inch wide ribbon it's just some that I had in my stash and it works out to be the perfect width for this I cut uh, the pieces to about two and a half inches and then I used a lighter to carefully sear the ends so that they won't fray and keep coming undone. Then I find the center of the mask and the center of the ribbon and this is on the top edge of the mask where it's going to be at your nose. I do this just by folding them in half and finding that center point. It's really easy to do. And then I use craft clips to just hold that ribbon in place really close to that top edge. I'm leaving just enough space to sew the ribbon on and these craft clips are super helpful but if you don't have them you can definitely use pens um, but if you want to give craft clips a try I will have them linked down below. It's an Amazon affiliate link and if you purchase anything using it that money that I get for referring you goes straight back into doing things like this. Once you get your ribbon clipped into place, you want to take it over to your sewing machine and you're going to sew both long edges and one short edge. I originally got this idea a few days ago and I had just seen a picture where someone had done this. I believe they only sewed the top and bottom long edges, but I'm sewing that one short edge as well so that I can slide the wire inside and know that it's not going to be trying to slip out of one side or the other because it's going to be butted up against that seam line. And I'm just using the edge of the ribbon as a guide, sewing pretty close to the edge so that I have enough space in that little casing to get the wire slid in. Also back stitch at the beginning and ending of your stitching line just to make sure this stays nicely and if you're hand sewing this you can use a running stitch if that's all the um, sewing stitches that you know. If you know how to do a back stitch you could do that. It would definitely um, be stronger and last longer. After you get your ribbon sewn on, take a piece of pipe cleaner or if you don't have that, just a wire that you have. Since I have pipe cleaner, I am measuring it out so that it is just a little bit shorter than the ribbon itself and I'm folding it and cutting a piece that is twice as long as the ribbon. So it is twice as long when it's open and when it's folded over, it is right about the same length as the ribbon. I'm using just a basic wire cutter to cut the pipe cleaner and then I'm folding over the cut edges just a little bit so that they won't be poking out. I give the pipe cleaner just a little twist so that the two sides of it are held together tightly and then I slip it into the ribbon with the cut edges in toward that sewn edge so again so it's not poking out. 
When you put your mask on, just simply bend the pipe cleaner to form around your nose and then tie it on or use the elastics or whatever you have to hold the actual mask in place. And yeah, you'll get a much better fit than you would without a wire. Also, make sure you are washing your mask after every use or else it is not helping you at all. Um, and it's a good idea to go ahead and take the wire out when you are about to wash it. So you can either push on the end of the ribbon to kind of scooch it out, or if that's not working, just get a pair of tweezers, grab the pipe cleaner, pull it out, wash your mask, and then afterwards you can slide it back into the casing. Um, this will extend the life of your wire because it won't get rusted um, from going through the wash. So anyway, I just wanted to share this little tip with you all because I thought it was a really useful one. I've added the wire onto my mask. Here is mine. Has a sewing machine on it. And then here's my husband's mask. It's the one I was showing in the video. It is Star Wars. And um, yeah, we've been using ours. My husband has weekly appointments that he still has to go to. And so he's been wearing his to his appointment and I had to go to the post office today to mail out some masks to my friends and I wore mine while I was there and the nose piece definitely helped. I didn't feel my breath coming up like toward my eyes while I was wearing it. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and come back soon because I'm going to be doing some more live streams throughout the next um, few weeks while I continue to work on these and you might want to check those out and sew along with me. So yeah, until next time, happy sewing.